Hello students and welcome to a new week of classes. This week our motivation comes in the form of a bird and while I love all birds, especially hummingbirds because they're my spirit animal, this week our bird is actually a flamingo which you can see on my cup and you might be wondering what is possibly the quote that has to do with a flamingo? Well here it is and it reads, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. So let's translate that. It means be different, be unique, and be okay with being different and unique. Stand out, be you, embrace the you-ness, okay? So here in this class, as you all know, a lot of the class deals with self-discovery and self-reflection and self-awareness. So part of this class, we've been going on this exploration of ourselves, dealing with personal assessments. We've looked at concepts such as strengths and weaknesses, looking at our own mindsets and attitude and language, dealing with you know victim and creators. We've also looked at grit, we're gonna get into our own learning styles, multiple intelligence, emotional intelligence, and personality. And in each of these areas, we are going to be possibly different from other people. And certainly when we take all of those characteristics and we put them together, we're our own unique self. We're individuals. And we're going to be different from other people. However, sometimes when we get in social settings or group settings, whether they're in an academic classroom setting at a college or a university, or we're an employment setting in a professional setting, or even in a social settings with you know, friends and family, we sometimes feel the need to conform and we feel the need to blend in and to not stand out because we have this internal script that's telling us that we need to blend in in order to, to get along with everybody. But I guarantee you that your uniqueness is a standout quality and it makes you be remembered. Um, when you think of that future partner that, or, or current partner that you have, or a fu future romantic partner uh, that you will have, do you think that they're looking for the person that's like everybody else, the pigeon? Or do you think that they're looking for somebody who is, you know, let me turn it around the other way, that is the unique? you know, that is the flamingo. Uh, when it comes to a job, for example, do you think the, you know, somebody's going through the interview process and they're scanning all of these job applications and they bring people in and they're interviewing and they're asking uh, questions. Do you think the interviewees, um, you know, when they're asking those questions, they wanna hear the same answer over and over or when they hear that unique perspective, that different answer, that suddenly their ears go up and they're like, huh, that's a different perspective, that's a different answer, that's unique, I like that. That's probably the person that's gonna get the call back, right? That's probably the person that's going to get the job. So I want you to embrace your uniqueness, your pinkness, if you will, when you're thinking about the flamingo. Embrace it, embrace your unique voice, your unique spirit, who you are as an individual. So on that note, have a wonderful uh, week and embrace who you are.